the content of our product or item page, however you want to call it, will be divided in three tabs, description, reviews and change log. And in this lesson, we'll be designing the description part. So let's begin. Let's begin by duplicating this uh, shop index page. And we'll uh, transform it into shop theme single. Up top, we need to make a couple of changes. The uh, breadcrumb path here is going to say home, shop, categories, corporate, and then the actual name of our theme. So let's uh, go with the fireworks theme. And in here, we're going to have three tabs. As I said in the introduction, our content will be organized in three tabs, description, reviews, and change log. And since we're here, we can actually uh, rename this to description tab. All right, so uh, here, we don't need the display modes. So we'll get rid of that. And we don't need the pagination. So we'll get rid of that as well. The category filter will be renamed to tabs. And uh, we don't need all the product cards. So let's only keep one We'll we'll need this in in just a little bit to build a different kind of card from it. Uh, but for now, let's uh, create a rectangle. That's going to be white, and the border will be our muted text border position outside. Let's make it 1440, align it in the center. And this will actually house the tab contents, we'll uh, push it up like that. Uh, we don't need this big line here on the tabs. And let's just resize it like this. All right, so here, instead of category, we're going to write view. And the tabs will be description will be reviews, and change log. Of course, align them all properly, and create all the correct distances. Okay, and we're good to go. So what do we need to do now? Well, apart from the content present in the tabs, we need to have like a permanent area for this uh, theme that will show us a picture of it, the price, uh, some meta information like publish date, update, uh, version, maybe, maybe some requirements, and then a big call to action button for adding that theme to the cart. So that's what this card is for, we're going to remake this into that permanent card. So let's position this at 60 pixels from above. And let's actually align it to the grid, also resize it to the grid, like that. 345. Then let's uh, get rid of some of these elements uh, that we don't really need. For example, this, uh, this, for example, this bit will be actually resized. So let's just put it like this, the image here will be resized as well to 345. Okay. Now, instead of this title, we're going to use the actual item price, which is 45 in our case. Let's uh, change up this uh, text here. First of all, remove the styling and then just decrease the size of this uh, dollar sign and go to type, uh, go to baseline. And it, you know, we should be able to use super uh, superscript here. But for some reason, oh, there we go. So we're using superscript for that. Okay, let's uh, move this up 60 from the image, we'll make 30 from the left uh, margin. Let's bring this up 30 as well. And let's include uh, a text that describes the support. Let's actually zoom in here a little bit. So we can see better. So for the text, let's say something like includes six months of free support. And for the text, we'll go with uh, TISA Pro. Let's do bold italic. And let's do the muted text color with a 16 pixel font size. Let's bring this up. And let's bring this up as well. 
to 30 pixels there. And let's resize this. And then further down, we're gonna put some meta information. Let's start with this published. TISA Pro, we'll do regular and we'll use our muted text, 16 pixels. We'll place this at 60 pixels from the element above. And then we'll say last updated version and maybe some requirements. So whoever is um, interested in buying this theme knows exactly what he needs to, uh, to have installed. And then we're we'll, uh, simply going to copy this, align it on the other side, on the right, change the text color, and go like this, January 12, 2015, maybe updated on June 11th, 2015. Let's say we're at version 1.3 and we need WordPress 4.0 plus. Now let's see about a button. That's the main action of this card. Uh, the add to cart button. So for that, let's, um, let's go in here. And actually, what we can do is we can include a symbol here. So BTM primary, we're going to put this inside the product card. Let's rename this to product information, actually product info, BTM primary, Yeah, let's uh, position this correctly. 30 pixels from there. Let's put it at 60 pixels from that text. And we need to exclude the text value from this. We're just going to say add to cart. And actually, what we're going to do is um, we need to resize it a little bit. So let's see BTM primary, we can actually resize this to match our container here. So we need to go minus 15 pixels. And then just realign these. Now, once we've done this change, we also need to go back in here because this also changed. So it's at 285 now. So we need to realign these in the center. Okay. And then let's uh, make this a little bit bigger. Remember, this will be a floating card, basically. So when we scroll down, it's going to be on a fixed position. And it's always going to be there for us. So we can always see the price, we can always see information about the theme and also purchase it. Now, we also need the option to view a demo of the theme. So for that, we're going to add a simple link live demo, we're going to make it the same color as our primary button. But we will use TISA Pro, a regular italic, and then inside, let's paste in uh, an arrow, something like that. So now we'll align this in the center like that. And position it at 30 pixels from the button and 60 from the margin below. All right, just like that. And with it, we've completed the product info card. Now let's see about the actual uh, description. For the description, we are left with four grid columns. So let's start by getting a rectangle, aligning that to the left side of our screen, and then aligning that with our grid. We'll position this at 90 pixels from the top. And in terms of styling, we're going to go back to our home page, and we're going to grab this background color. So FBFA F5 or additional number four, and we're going to use that as our background. And for the border, we're going to have a black with a reduced opacity to about to about uh, 10 to 15%. I'm going to go with 10% opacity here. All right. So this, uh, let's actually rename this to tab BG. And this will be called description BG. And inside, we're going to use a text that has the same color as this one. In fact, let me just copy the text here, it's much easier. And we're going to paste this in, we're going to align it to the left, 
And in here, we're just gonna put some dummy text. Let's make this container. Let's give it a uh, padding of 60 pixels. So that's basically the description. And on top of that, we can actually have some additional elements like um, maybe features, short snippets of text with a title. So let's do that as well. Let's increase the size of this uh, tab BG. This is actually tab content BG to be more specific. And in here, we're going to place four features basically of our theme in the form of title and text. So let me speed up things for you. There we go. So just some uh, features here. And they're all aligned to the grid. As you can see, they uh, each take two grid columns. And the distance is here 30 between these two, 890 from uh, the content above, and 60 between each feature. Let's see what we got so far. Uh, the contents of our first tab, the description, are done. So let's actually bring in the navigation down. Okay, let's bring this up 60. And we'll bring this up. And then underneath, we're going to have a section that's always going to be there in the theme single page, and that is similar themes. So we're basically showing themes that either belong in the same category or are based on the same tags as the theme that we're currently viewing. So uh, for this, uh, let's do let's do the following. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, and let's go to our index page. And let's grab this, 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 and this, and this. Let's copy those. And let's paste them in here. Let's align them in the center properly. And this will be similar themes. Let's bring it up like that. Similar themes there, we're going to bring up our uh, navigation here, and then resize this container, and then bring up the footer. And finally, just to increase the size of the size of our canvas, just like that. And we are done with the first tab of the theme single page. So we have the tabs on the top, this permanent card here, that gives us information about the theme and an option to buy it or see a live view, description, features, similar themes, and that's it. With the first tab built, uh, let's take care of the other two. So coming up next, we're going to build the change log and reviews tabs.